Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com. You know, some of my favorite videos are when we get to launch and release some of our Dip Your Car exclusive colors. Today we're doing one of my favorite colors we've ever released, Electric Lime Green. You're gonna see how sick this color is. We've been waiting for it for a really long time. We're doing it on Jared's Sport Wagon, the one that got the sunset orange on it. Really hope you guys enjoy the color, enjoy the video. Now guys, I wanna take a second to discuss the differences between a fluorescent color Plasti Dip and a non-fluorescent color Plasti Dip. So for example, Monster Green is a fluorescent color Plasti Dip. Electric Lime Green is not a fluorescent color. Now they're both bright, beautiful greens, but there's actually some differences between the two products. So whenever you use a fluorescent color Plasti Dip like Monster Green or Firebelly Orange, for example, there's two things that you wanna keep in mind. First and foremost, you wanna have a white base coat down on your car before you use a fluorescent Plasti Dip. It's definitely gonna cover a lot better, it's gonna cover more evenly, and the color will be a lot louder and brighter when you're done with your project. The other thing you wanna keep in mind is the pigments in the fluorescent Plasti Dip are just like the pigments in any other fluorescent product in the paint industry. They're not really uh, UV resistant. So after some long-term UV exposure, the colors can fade. So when you're using something like the electric lime, which is not a fluorescent Plasti Dip, there's some differences. It doesn't require a base coat. The, the coverage is actually strong enough so that you don't need a base coat underneath it. Now you can use a white or a gunmetal gray base coat if you choose to, but it's certainly not required and we'll demonstrate that in a moment. The other thing is that it doesn't have the fluorescent pigments in it. The DYC exclusive colors, none of them have fluorescent pigments, so the electric lime and the koi orange and those colors in that color set won't fade like the fluorescent colors. So now we're gonna do two things to show you the coverage of the electric lime. The first is we're gonna show you how three coats of electric lime covers over a black OEM hood. We're gonna let it build up with no base coat and show you how it covers. The second thing is, is that Jared's car, which is completely dipped in sunset orange, got a new bumper on it. The bumper doesn't have any dip on it at all. So we're gonna do three coats of gunmetal gray in the front bumper, and then because the electric lime has good coverage, after the three or four or five coats we use to dip the whole car, the entire car and the front bumper, which were two completely different colors, will dry and even out as one color. Now you can't do that unless the product has good coverage. So we'll demonstrate the coverage of the electric lime there as well. So I really hope you guys enjoy this color and enjoy the process. Now we're going to show you how the electric lime covers over a non plasti dip surface with no base coat at all. This is an OEM black hood. Your first coat is going to go on nice and light, about a 50% coverage. Now the second coat, you're going to start building up some coverage more. You can slow down a little bit and put on a little bit more product than your first coat. Now as you can see, as we move through the third coat, the coverage really starts to pick up very quickly. Now you may have a full solid color after the third coat, but for peelability and durability, we definitely suggest going to a fourth or fifth coat.
All right, guys, behind me, as you can see, the electric lime turns out to be a bright, beautiful color. Um, everything that you saw us use today, the electric lime, which is only and exclusively available at dipyourcar.com, the pro car kit, everything you've seen today is available for you at dipyourcar.com. If you have any questions, customer service at dipyourcar.com. Now, what we did for this project is we did four coats and one spot shot. So we did three basic coats and then we did a spot shot between the third and the fourth coat and then one fourth coat to finish it all up. Now, remember when I told you that Jared's front bumper was basically gunmetal gray, the rest of the car was sunset orange, and if the electric lime coverage was gonna be on point, we shouldn't see any difference between the electric, uh, the gunmetal gray bumper and the sunset orange. And what we're, pr we're proud to say is that everything dried perfectly, it's a nice, even color all the way around the car. We'll let the camera go around so you can see for yourself. It's Fonzie, enjoy the color, enjoy the product. I'll see you in the next video.